how how you are doing the assessment part of it in terms of their uh, productivity with respect to the training which you impart to them during the training program on the training program yeah in fact priti i think i'm i'm so happy you touched upon one of the most important aspects because you know finally uh, it's all about productivity and uh, today the entire program of the apprentice you know has been questioned based on you know how how you know what are these resources how productive are they these are one of the prime issues discussed when running any any of these programs and i think you know the responsibility of enhancing productivity productivity must be driven and owned by the organization and of course the the apprentice over there and you know owned by the organization and the organization deploying them you know and of course the people who are managing them but i think if i were to just uh, rewind slightly and you know um, look at you know if if you, when you spoke about it very important point is you know assessing them you know so locating uh, the talent pool you know of affordable talent is is a very is a very key because if, unless i'm able to locate and get the right talent you know put them through the battery of assessments and then say that okay this person is my the right person who can who can be a part of my apprentice scheme the second is you know identifying uh, and create an inventory of various skills that you require you know because that's very important because otherwise you're going to end up putting the wrong person for the wrong job and then you blame productivity yeah okay so the important thing is you know first step back make an inventory what are the various skills that you have and then start looking for the right talent and you know uh, then then not only once having done this there are a bunch of skills that are even transferable or transportable in, in that sense and and look at you know that option where you can give people you know multi skilled some of the apprentices uh, you know while they are on the job over there and you know uh, target you know the entire skill so that you look able to look at the entire skill and of course i think the most important thing uh, you know is providing them a meaningful opportunity to learn and grow yeah if you are if one is able to do that i think we will be able to you know ensure that productivity get gets enhanced gets uh, gets measured on a routine basis there are various measures of of measuring productivity and typically in a very in a shop floor environment you know it would be you know a number of a number of, a number of um, items produced number of um, uh, targets met you know number of uh, defects reduced quality related uh, uh, you know aspects could be incorporated depending on where exactly they are deployed in the shop floor a, a matrix can be really designed uh, to to uh, to to measure that you know to, so these are uh, you know for me productivity is very very important unless we are able to to drive productivity you know then this the, the essence of the scheme really gets questioned and that's when many organizations say no i don't want to do this because you know these are a bunch of guys who are just you know uh, you know loitering around and that's not the intent these are a bunch of people we can you know as manufacturing organizations we can actually deploy and these are not people these are resources that can actually be utilized if channelized in the right way and i think a lot of this will go of productivity is to also educate the managers who are managing these people you know who are managing the apprentice you know how they can best utilize these apprentice in the best possible way and of course give them time to learn as well as develop at 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 uh, the same time so this is my uh, take on productivity i think it's a very important aspect it's a very important tool and this must be one of some of the key measures you know that has to be constantly measured throughout the apprentice program of of the entire period of so you do assessment uh, what's your time frame you do every six months or you do once they before they complete the apprenticeship program what's the frequency of your assessment so, so uh, we are doing every six months but we are looking at you know moving it to a quarter on a quarterly basis because you know in manufacturing it can be easily tracked to very large extent but to track it on an individual basis is is slightly challenging at this this point of time but we will get there my goal is to is to track uh, productivity to the to a quarterly basis and try and improve it further as we go 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 forward second call in on this case because i also believe the ultimately productivity is everything not just with the apprentice but even in general what we see is this productivity matters a lot to entire organization right so when it comes to productivity there are certain ways through which the entire apprentice program is designed 
assessment is one part which is being done by the government other than that we have our own certification which is being uh, conducted every three months that is quarterly so certificate certification program is one thing other than that what we do is we have linked this entire apprentice program especially for iti people with incentives so once they complete each and every quarter their incentives grows so that could be one uh, that is you know a part of retention also which can be taken as a tool for retention as well as this can be taken as a tool for assessment also how much more incentive they earn and this is how we rate them so one thing is incentive second is reward and recognition program is also designed for them and third is certification as i said quarterly certification so this is the way we assess each of our apprentices i think more than the productivity i can say the quality is most important in our industry because nobody is bothered whether you are done a scan of today 80 patients or 50 patients but how many quality scans you have done is most important because nobody decides this today i have to take a ct scan or an a blood test to be done and they walks into our center the patient is referred by a doctor the doctor who refers for him how best the image we take or how best the laboratory test we perform and how best the report we deliver to him that decides the next course of what do you see the treatment to the patient so our direct customer is i can say directly it is a doctors over there and not the patient actually so and again the patient who walks into a place they is not a happy happy place i can say rather this is a place which needs to be more of empathy oriented there is no sympathy also it should be an empathy oriented it's like i always tell our uh, staff if somebody looks at a five star hotel or even a nice restaurant is opened up in front of our uh, office we always feel that one day i have to have a lunch here or next saturday i have to have a lunch here or maybe a nice hotel i see i'll think that uh, at least one two days i should stay in this hotel very nobody thinks that krishna diagnostics has opened such a beautiful center state of the art three tesla mri 120 slice ct all these what do you say the new machines one day i should lie down on this machine i, I should take my scan nobody wish for this so when patient comes with this kind of a mindset where they have been compelled to come it is not the patient to the patient attend they have to take a short leave from the work or they have to apply leave so when they come with that kind of a mindset we should be in their shoes understanding their pain and how we receive them in the right from the security it starts if they say they have a, if they face a problem at the security then every stage they will find problem with our service right the security started well then the quality of service at least in the next the front office then how the technicians they receive them how they what do you say give counseling about the test they are going to perform that everything will go well later 